Hey guys, this is Honeycut Towing. We're working on a 2015 International Rollback with uh, the Auto uh, Auto Grip Two Wheel Lift, the Chevron Edition, uh, where you pull this lever here to open and close those arms. When we uh, opened our arms, it was shooting fluid all over the place on the right side here, and we're gonna show you how to tear it loose and possibly put it back together uh, there were no videos that I noticed on YouTube on how to uh, replace the holes or the cylinder uh, I was afraid it was the cylinder but it was a hose blown out so that was a good thing and take it my bolts are already loose I'm basically tell you what we use to take it loose and to put it back together all right, we're going to get to it. Basically, you turn the wheel lift the opposite side of um, the side that you're working on. You turn it the opposite side. And if you look down in here, there's a where the line's coming from the boom. Uh, there's a 716 screw you'll take out. Again, all my screws are loose because I'm taking it loose to... Just to show you how to do it because I didn't have any assistance. I was able to look at some anything. And basically, um, you get a screwdriver, pry bar or something, just pull your line. You might can do it with your hand, but possibly it be, might be stuck here initially. So uh, basically, you get your, your wrench and you take your lines loose and just lay it to the side. And... Um, This adapter plate, this adapter plate here, you'll want to remove it because this pin on the back would be in the way. So basically, you just remove it. All right. Then you have a screw right here. That's a three quarter. On my particular unit, it's a three-quarter. And again, let me bag up so you can see where that screw is at. Screws right here. Then you have another screw. is is in there. That's a seven six no a half inch a half inch. And you take this little my plate aluminum. I don't know what yours would be but take that out all right now if you get in there you rule that plate you can see the holes in there and uh, and what you have to do next you want to remove these chains they're not difficult to remove um, uh, you have to use a, probably a crescent wrench or a real thin socket because you see you probably have to use a crescent wrench or old man wrench don't know exactly what size these are because I'm using a crescent wrench screws down now once you remove the screws you can open it and, and, and pull the chain loose and then do the same way on the other side open and pull the chain loose so next you want to get this arm this arm out the way and uh, as you can see where the grease fit in that, it, uh, mine was a torque, I believe, but it was damaged at the top. So I had to get some grip pliers and basically unscrew it out. And you, you remove the pin here on this grease fitting. And then to get the unit to slide out, you also remove this pin. And it goes on top of this. And you pull both of those fittings out and that'll remove... 
this particular pin here move this arm so we'll take that out the way give me just a second all righty and this is mine already it's been out you you're gonna have to um i might use two hands because you're gonna have to shake this arm up and down you see it's moving the hip um uh, get the pressure off to pull it out so give me a second all right all right so and it fits into a hole at the bottom you see how it's, how it's made there so, so basically if you don't use one arm it probably will drop on me a little bit but basically to pull that arm out once you get that grease fitting just pull it out all right we have way there now we got to get this other fitting up now i might can use my phone and get this one up hold it so you pull that up and that's what that one look like all right now we almost about to get ready to take this unit out but um what you have to do next is a second and uh so now we back where the arm was that arm there we pull this chain out the way and if you look in there i don't know if you could see it let's see can i find a light hold on all righty got a light maybe you can see in there uh that line coming from the the back side in there That'll be a, a 14 millimeter or a 9, 16. And you're going there. And loosen that up. That wrench, that socket, that uh, screw right there. That line. Give me a second. Get off me and let you see what it looks like. Gotta get your hand up in here. Okay. Got the line off. You see the line laying there? And now we gotta get this big nut off right here. And that is a 1 and 116 wrench. That is a one and one sixteen. Actually, with the line off, you can use the box in. You just go in there like so, and you just 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 loosen it. All right, got it off. Now what you do next is you come back to the end on the outside where you took that plate off. And uh, actually you can take the line off when you remove that plate initially. And it's a 916 or 14 millimeter. You basically unscrew it. And this fitting is 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 uh, you you have to remove this fitting. Actually, you don't have to. You don't have to. But I did because I didn't I didn't know from initially. But basically, you can take it off if you like, so you won't break it or damage the threads. And 
once you remove it, you uh, if you see it fits up in there, the fluid shoots comes through that line to basically pull and push the um, the arm out. And if you take it out, this is what it looks like. And pay attention to the little seal, rubber seal that's on it, on one end. And that's the end that will, will fit up in here. So make sure that's a good seal before you go back and you have another leak. Alrighty, so we back at it. And basically what we what you do, you might get a pry bar or a screwdriver. Uh, you can go to the other end. Stick your hand in there and push that shaft back and maybe pull on on this end or you can get like I said a screwdriver or a pry bar and um, actually this wrench will fit in there you don't want to damage this where the seal fit but you just get something and pry it until you can get that shaft out let me say okay now Basically, you want to come back around the front before it uh, you're able to pull it out because you got to straighten your chains up. Just fold, just fold those chains in there like that. And this particular one, you do the same thing. You bring it around, just let it lay like that because when you pull it, it got to come out, come through that hole right there. All right, let me show you what we're talking about. Alrighty, and that line you just push it down and if if you if you take it loose over there you you see it twisting when you turn it down when you turn it down you can turn it out the way you notice I don't know if you can see it but that line is twisting when you twist this if you if you take it loose first then it'll give you the clearance to pull that out so Basically, push those in. Now you can kind of see how this this unit is coming out. You see. Chains coming out, so I'm gonna have to put the phone down for just a second. All right, so this is your your unit, the, the cylinder, with the chains on it. And that's the line. This is this is your unit. That is your unit, and you check for leaks or whatever. You pay attention around your seals, and and um, on the other side as well. So I I want to make a correction. I said to turn this line that way. You can, you can, if you twist that line, initially, there's a, a clamp that hold that line right here with the, the flathead screwdriver. And you have to loosen that up first. Now, you can loosen it, and then it'll, it'll twist. But to get that line out, let me show you the nut. It's a nut on the inside. There's a nut. Okay, if you see in there, you see that? So you can loosen it a little bit on the inside if you're going to take your line out. And uh, even if the nut falls, you can get it because when you pull that shaft out, you have plenty of room. But basically, to replace that line, let me take the nut off and uh, the little clamp. 
the little clamp right here that holds the line. As a on mine, it's a flathead screwdriver, and then it's a small nut on the other side, like a 10 millimeter or a 716. Hold on. And this is what that looked like. The screw will come in on this back side here. And the nut is on the other side and, the, and that holds your uh, your holes in place. Now that you got that loose and that loose, you can pull your holes out. Now mine was kind of stuck. Mine was stuck. I had to get the dirt out of it because of the dirt and the grease. But basically to replace that line you you just gonna reach in there and pull the ex excess stuff back and you'll pull it out like so there's a hole that goes through in that metal you'll see each line go through a metal hole 